Imagine millions of tiny maintenance crews working inside you right now, waiting for the perfect moment to begin their most important shift. They're not resting. They're not idle. They're simply waiting for a signal that never comes in our constantly fed world. This signal triggers something called autophagy, your body's ancient cellular cleaning system, and the timing of when it may begin could surprise you more than you think. Your cells are like bustling cities that never sleep. Throughout the day, they accumulate waste, damaged proteins, and worn-out components, much like how a city collects trash and debris. But unlike a city with scheduled garbage collection, your cells have been waiting for a very specific condition to activate their cleanup crews. That condition is fasting, and the moment it begins, research suggests something remarkable unfolds in the microscopic world within you. Most people believe autophagy starts after just 12 hours without food. The truth is far more nuanced. Your cellular maintenance system operates on its own timeline, one that's been refined over millions of years of human evolution. When you stop eating, your body doesn't immediately flip a switch and begin cellular repair. Instead, it follows a carefully orchestrated sequence of metabolic changes, each one preparing the stage for the next. In the first few hours after your last meal, your digestive system continues its familiar rhythm. Insulin levels gradually decline as glucose from your meal gets processed and stored. Your liver works steadily, converting excess sugar into glycogen reserves. During this phase, your cells remain focused on growth, protein synthesis, and energy storage. The cleanup crews remain dormant, waiting for their cue. But here's the part most people never hear. Your body has two primary operating modes that function like opposing forces. The first is governed by a protein complex called MTOR, which stands for Mechanistic Target of Rapamycin. Think of Amator as your body's growth director, constantly promoting cell division, protein production, and energy storage. When Amator is active, autophagy stays suppressed. It's like having a construction crew working overtime while the cleaning staff waits in the wings. The second mode is controlled by something called AMPK, your body's energy sensor. AMPK acts like a biological accountant, constantly monitoring your cellular energy reserves. When nutrients become scarce, AMPK begins to override MTOR's commands. This molecular shift is what ultimately gives autophagy permission to begin its work. As you move deeper into your fast, somewhere between the 8th and 12th hour, your liver's glycogen stores start to diminish. This depletion sends the first quiet signal through your bloodstream. Your cells begin sensing a change in their environment. Glucose levels drop. Insulin continues its steady decline. Your metabolism starts its ancient transition from a fed state to a fasted state. Yet, what your cells do next is even more unexpected. Rather than panicking about the lack of incoming nutrients, they begin preparing for a completely different type of work. The molecular machinery inside each cell starts shifting gears like a factory changing from production mode to maintenance mode. This preparation phase is crucial, and it's often overlooked in discussions about fasting and cellular repair. Around the 14 to 16 hour mark, something significant occurs at the cellular level. Your body reaches what some studies refer to as the metabolic flexibility threshold. This is when your cells become truly efficient at switching between fuel sources. Fat oxidation increases. Ketone production begins for many people. And most importantly for our story, the molecular conditions become favorable for autophagy activation. But the real change begins at 18 hours. Research suggests this is when the first meaningful waves of autophagy may begin to emerge in most people. Your cells finally receive the biochemical green light they've been waiting for. The cleanup crews that have been dormant since your last meal finally clock in for their shift. They begin identifying damaged proteins, worn out cellular components, and accumulated waste that needs to be removed. Think of this process like a citywide renovation project that can only happen when traffic dies down. During constant feeding, your cellular highways are too busy with nutrient transport and protein synthesis to allow for major cleanup operations. But in the quiet hours of fasting, these same pathways become available for waste removal and repair work. However, this is where the story inside your body quietly shifts. Different types of autophagy begin at different times, each with its own specialized function. The most common type, called macroautophagy, involves creating double-membraned structures that engulf damaged cellular components. These structures, called autophagosomes, 
act like cellular garbage trucks, collecting waste and delivering it to the cell's recycling centers. What happens next surprises even researchers. As fasting continues beyond the 24-hour mark, autophagy doesn't simply maintain a steady level. Instead, it often intensifies, becoming more selective and efficient. Your cells begin targeting specific types of damage that accumulated over weeks or months. It's during this deeper phase that some of the most profound cellular renewal may occur. The next phase reveals something your body almost never shows openly. Between 48 and 72 hours of fasting, autophagy is believed to reach peak efficiency. Your cells are no longer just performing routine maintenance. They're conducting comprehensive repairs, breaking down and recycling components that would otherwise contribute to cellular aging and dysfunction. Your body has a quiet response waiting at this stage. The cellular cleanup becomes so thorough that it can begin affecting entire organ systems. Your liver, having depleted its glycogen stores, redirects its energy toward detoxification and repair. Your digestive system, finally given a rest from constant processing, begins supporting healing of its lining and regenerating damaged tissues. Yet understanding when autophagy begins is only part of the story. The real fascination lies in recognizing how this ancient survival mechanism has been quietly waiting inside you all along, ready to activate whenever you give it the proper conditions. What unfolds after the third day changes everything internally, setting the stage for transformations that reach far beyond simple cellular cleanup. But what unfolds in the deeper stages of fasting reveals how sophisticated your cellular intelligence truly is. Beyond 72 hours, your body enters a state that researchers describe with quiet fascination. The autophagy process becomes remarkably selective, almost surgical in its precision. Your cells begin identifying and dismantling specific proteins that have been accumulating damage for months, sometimes years. Inside each cell, molecular machines called autophagosomes work with extraordinary efficiency. These structures grow larger and more active, engulfing damaged mitochondria, misfolded proteins, and cellular debris that would otherwise contribute to aging and disease. It's a process so refined that your cells can distinguish between components worth saving and those that need removal. Yet what your nervous system does during this phase is even more remarkable. Extended autophagy begins affecting your brain cells, potentially clearing away protein aggregates that interfere with cognitive function. This may explain why many people report unusual mental clarity during longer fasts. Your neurons, finally given the opportunity for deep maintenance, begin functioning with renewed efficiency. Here's the part that surprises even researchers. While you might expect cellular stress during extended fasting, the opposite often occurs. Your cells begin producing stress-resistance proteins that appear to make them more resilient to future damage. It's as if the temporary challenge of nutrient scarcity teaches your cellular machinery to become stronger and more adaptable. Autophagy begins not with a single moment, but with a gentle unfolding that starts around 18 hours and deepens with time. Your cellular maintenance crews have been waiting patiently, ready to transform periods of scarcity into opportunities for renewal. Every fast becomes a quiet conversation between your ancient biology and modern choices. If learning how your body and brain quietly respond to everyday choices brings you clarity, consider subscribing to Vivalabs for more calm, research-informed explanations. Vivalabs, where your body tells its quiet stories.